Yes, my dear students, now the classification of drugs. There are the four types of classification. Number one is pharmacological effect. In this one, it will provide the whole range of the drugs, like as uh, available for the treatment of a particular disease. We can take the, the medicine for the temperature, antipyretic, analgesic for pain, whole range of the drugs is available in this one. Now second is that the drug action. Action of the drug on a particular biochemical processes, example antihistamine, antihistamine, antihistamine will attack on the acid. And then third is that chemical structures. And in the chemical structures, that drugs having common structural features like as sulfonamides. The some drugs which are made of the sulfonamides, they are they are having similar uh, pharmacological activity. Then fourth is that molecular target. And in the molecular target, we are classifying that drugs possessing common structural feature and have the same mechanism action of the target like as it can attack on the carbohydrate, fat or lipid means of that drug processing common structure feature common structural features and may have same mechanism of action same mechanism of action also. Now we are going to discuss a little bit terms which are useful for you that is the catalytic action of enzyme how the enzyme will work catalytic action of enzyme catalytic action of enzyme to hold the substrates, drug will to hold the substrate for the chemical action, active site of enzyme held by substrates. So in this, we will discuss one major important terms which has been asked in number of exams. That is the antagonist. A N T A antagonist. In the next class, I will discuss the important things of this chapter. That is the many drugs they use their effect. Now the antagonist drugs that bind the receptor site, drugs that bind the receptor site, bind the receptors site and inhibits its natural function and inhibit its natural function so that drug can be properly used natural function is called antagonist and it is particularly useful for the whenever blocking of message is required whenever blocking of message is required we are using this one suppose that we would not like to give the message to the students, so we stop them by saying the parents. So that is called antagonists. In this way, you can understand. Then another term is that that is the. And there are the other types of drugs. I am discussing that agonists. Agonists are that drugs which mimic the natural messenger important to know that is that mimic mimic means to make unless uh, to make the senses mimic to make fool mimic the natural messenger to mimic the natural messengers by switching on the receptor site 
by switching on the receptor site. So these are the terms which you learn properly. These already belong in the catalytic action of the enzymes. Then the chapter starts and now the different kind of drugs and their use. Please be in please be with me in the next class also. We will discuss so many types of drugs, their use, stop, differences, detergents.